Oh, fuck, they removed it. Last time I was on this page, they had the Nothing Ear One product ad. It's suspicious because last week we got these delivered to our office, and then the week after, now it's not got our video on there anymore. They know we know. The lawyers are coming. Should I sit here? Like here? Good. Damn. What's up, everyone? Today we're going to look at some fake Nothing products. So Felicien Rousseau, I'm an industrial designer. I'm Joseph and I'm a technologist at Nothing. I'm prepared, I'm excited about this. I'm curious to see whether we can learn from them and <laughs> drive our costs down. <laughs> That's interesting. Mm. I kind of like this guy. The packaging looks very different from ours, definitely. But yeah, there's a lot going on. And also, if you didn't know what the product was, there's a big arrow to say. There's already music coming from these. I don't need those. What can I say? There's a lot to say. Okay, interesting. These are really, really light. On ours, we have a white circle. Here, there's a red X. So without picking up and actually trying to put it in my ear, I don't think I'm gonna know which one is, is left and which one is right. Which is not appealing. They copied our homework, but they definitely changed it up a little bit. I mean, the packaging is really, really bad. But yeah, the quality of this is like really not, not good. This detail that you can see in the front face is just basically a sticker. There is no depth to it. I guess there's that as well. You know, from afar, you're like, hey, okay. But then closer, even like the thickness of the walls are just different. Can I do a drop test? I'm uh, doing a drop test of the fake Nothing Ear One. So I'm just gonna, you know, take it out of my pocket and accidentally drop it to see what happens. Music started to play. They're huge, as you can see these a mile away. I wonder who made this. I wanna meet that person. Have a drink. Enjoy any time, in case you needed reminding when you could use your headphones. You can see they saved a lot of cost on the materials. The little pin connectors to charge that are brass color and this is not okay this is not okay they worked hard i mean i'm really impressed by the the golf ball texture that they managed to copy i'd give them a a solid kind of seven out of ten. Seven out of ten copycats okay should we compare it to the to the real deal chunky can be chunky they seem, yeah, they're quite a lot bigger as well. The fake one is a little bit lighter. It's not as satisfying as ours. Now we're gonna do, do a test in uh, audio quality. So let's start with uh, the Wecom. Shall I put them in and try them? Wait, it, it said something. Okay, right, left, I don't know. Okay, now it's in Chinese. Okay, I'm gonna try to connect them now. What's like a good audio reference song? Uh, what You Won't Do For Love by Michael Boothman. Let's do some hip hop, some rock, some uh, Celine Dion. I think I'm gonna go for uh, the latest Quavo and Takeoff. It tells you it's connected in a kind of like a weird accent. Connected. Yeah, the light is on, but nothing is showing. The volume is, it's pretty loud. It just covers more surface area in your ears. The high end is, is very harsh. The, the weekend. Just the, the sound when you put them in your ears, it's not great. So listen to Starboy, and the bass is really heavy here. Actually, on the previous song, this one, Disconnected. Um, yeah, they're quite, quite harsh. You hear also a little bit of uh, treble, but everything else is kind of missing, and the bass is like really, really heavy. What's a good Celine Dion song? The thing, though. When you're removing one, it's not posing. No, yet. Yeah. Oh, my heart will go on. A, lo a lower volume, listenable, at like a regular sort of volume, quite rough. Rammstein, du hast. Okay, you hear uh, that there's other instruments <laughs> in the song that you couldn't hear with the other one. Okay, I'm done. Uh, the sound is really tinny. Um, so, so I gave a seven out of 10 on how well they copied the design, but the sound is like a one or two out of 10. I don't know, let me guess the price. I would say $17.99. Oh, there's another one that looks like ours. You would just sort of see these in like Primark when you get to the tills and there's just all the random stuff. 
15 pounds. It's like a 17.99 to me, but. 25 quid, 30 pounds, maybe? 15 quid. 15, oh, wow, okay. Oh, fuck, they removed it. What? Uh, last time I was on this page, they had the Nothing Ear One product ad. Suspicious, because last week we got these delivered to our office. Uh -huh. And then the week after, now it's not got our video on there anymore. The lawyers are coming. They know we know. <laughs> and one of the users actually made their own side-by-side -side comparison. Why would be my final verdict? Let's see. It's okay, you know, it's not like completely disgusting. Uh, Sound-wise was only a little bit awful. So overall, a bit awful. I'm really flattered that somebody spends this much effort. So kudos to that. Just design your own product. You can't do it, you can make a product. Just like design, design your own one. Would I own these, these guys? No. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not willing to do that, no. No, I'm enjoying this one. You know, on, on the design, it's a seven out of 10, but on the sound quality, it's, it's really shit. Yeah, they weren't good. Today, we uh, checked out some fake Nothing Here Once, and uh, you know, at the start, I was like, hey, can we learn something from them in terms of how to drive our costs down? And the verdict is uh, probably not. Not bad, but not good, that's what I'd say. We come, guys, like what are you doing with your lives? This is electronic waste, you know, we only live once. It's, uh, it's garbage. Literally, man, yeah. it's like a McDonald's toy. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, nobody would want this for free. Do you know where the rubbish bin is? 